I'm Matt Bichar with NayReachReit.com here in New York City for REIT Week 2015. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Thomas Nolan, Chairman and CEO of Spirit Realty Capital. Thomas, thank you so much for joining us. Terrific. Good to be here. Now, Spirit Realty booked almost $1 billion in acquisitions last year. Are you on pace to, to match that total in 2015? And how competitive are you seeing the market? Last year was a terrific year, and uh, to hit a billion dollars was great. Not only did we like the volume number, but we liked what we bought, which is, I think, even, even more important. We also had a great first quarter, so in terms of starting this year, we're, we're on pace. We did $276 million in the first quarter, 7.6% cap rate. Very happy with the, uh, with the portfolio. I would say that, that in the, the billion dollar number, sometimes people tend to focus on that. We're, we're an acquirer of real estate. You know, to make money, we we never go into the year with a with a kind of an artificial target. We buy when the green light is on, and we think we're getting great value, and we turn it off if if we think that the you know the market dynamics aren't as positive. Right now, they're pretty good, uh, and certainly the first quarter was good, and, and and heading into this quarter looks good. So I think we're going to have a good year. And how would you characterize Spirit's uh, tenant diversification right now? It's uh, it's it's excellent, and it's improving. Uh, and I, I say that because at the time of the IPO, we had a very diverse portfolio. It was one of our really impressive kind of statistics, with the exception that we had one outsized. We had one outsized revenue generator, and then everything else looked great. And of course, you know, when you're talking about everything else, people want to talk about the, the outsized one, which was very fair to, to do. So clearly, from our perspective, we were determined to get that number more in line with the rest of the portfolio. The time of the IPO, we had one tenant, excellent tenant, but they were providing 30% of our revenue. The beginning of this year, in less than three years, we've got it down to 14. We're at 12 today. We're on our way to sub 10. And we've, uh, we've uh, told the market will be less than 10 and in line with kind of the rest of the peers in the industry before the end of the year. But we'll get there before that. So it's, uh, it's been going actually very well. And what role do sale leaseback transactions play in the acquisition process for Spirit? It's a big part of what we do. Uh, we, we like the sale leaseback uh, arrangement uh, because when you're negotiating directly with a tenant, you're getting kind of your terms in addition to your economics. It's going on your lease form. It's, uh, it's just an easier method as opposed to buying somebody else's kind of, I guess, negotiating and underwriting. I think in the first quarter, we did about 75% or a little more than that were actually sale leaseback transactions. So that's a big part of what we do, and, and we expect that will continue in the future. Great. Thomas, thank you so much for joining us. Terrific. Thanks for you for having me. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.